What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a power leveling guide for Diablo 4. So we did test something earlier which we carried this character through the first two capstone dungeons into world tier 4. Okay, and you get to about level 20 when you just have somebody carry you through into world tier 4 as you guys can see here. Now to test this strategy further, we have my teammates are going to go and destroy this dungeon. Okay, and you're going to see my EXP bar go up. See these jumps? We're doing a Nightmare Dungeon level 36 on World Tier 4. And when you're doing this, all you have to do is just stand at the entrance just like you would in Diablo 3. Um, I did not pop my um, consumable because I don't have any. Uh, now, I'm also not gaining the additional uh, bonus EXP from being next to my teammates, but that's okay. Look how fast my bar is going up. So we're going to see how, like, how powerful we can level somebody because again once you go through the capstone dungeon on world tier 3 and world tier 4 you're going to be roughly 17 to 20. so we're going to see uh, how many more levels that i gain in this so what i probably will do is i'll just speed up the video all the way to the end and just see what happens so let me check you guys in the end So guys, we just finished the first Nightmare Dungeon. Uh, it's done and we are level 27. So we gained 10 full levels in just a few minutes of actual gameplay from my teammates. So the whole idea behind this is we're just gonna rinse and repeat this. So in an ideal world, let me give you a time uh, kind of thing here to see how fast you can power level. And I know a lot of people are gonna be upset in the comments and just talk about like, you know, you shouldn't be power leveling or this takes away from my experience in the game. Again, I'm not telling you how to play. I'm just bringing you this tip, this guide if you want to power level. So it took us about eight minutes to complete the first capstone dungeon. It took us another 10 minutes to complete the second one going into world tier four. And as you can see, this took what, another five or seven minutes to actually complete, maybe even less than that. So you do this for a couple more times. So you're at eight plus 10 is 18 minutes so 20 minutes and then another five or six so we're almost at a half hour we've gained 27 levels so in an hour we can get to level 50 in an hour we can get to level 50. so guys this is the power leveling strategy that i suggest that you do try to do the highest level nightmare dungeons that you guys can and just keep power leveling. This is awesome. This is going to be really, really fun. So again, guys, just to recap, you're going to have a teammate, friend, or somebody carry you through uh, the capstone dungeon to go to world tier three, then immediately have them carry you through the capstone dungeon to go to world tier four. Then you're going to come in and do the highest level nightmare dungeons that you guys can do. So this is the strategy, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Like the video and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.